How are you folks? Welcome back. In this video, we are going to talk about Firebase. Now, what is this thing, Firebase? Well, in order for us to understand Firebase, I think it would be very helpful if we started by thinking in terms of why we would want to use such platform. Now, suppose you want to build a real-time interactive application. It could be a chat application or an application that you want it to be interactive real-time, meaning that users are sending messages or are writing to the database and everything is being updated at real-time. In order for you to do that, you would have to do a lot of work, right? You would have to build a back-end system, which essentially consists of obviously having a database. In this database, then you'll have to build APIs to do HTTP requests. Uh, you'll have to also have authentication APIs. You have to have analytics for your application, you bug report, you have to have push notification, chat, um, so many other layers that you have to build. Needless to say, that costs a lot of money as well as time consuming. That's when Firebase comes in. So, so Firebase is Google's platform that allows us to then create very scalable application, which means they have already built the database for us, which contains all of the APIs, HTTP request, authentication, analytics, bug report, and all the things that we will need to have a solid infrastructure for us to build upon. The beauty of this is that it is less expensive and also allows us to scale our backend infrastructure easily, meaning as your applications that rely on using that backend grows, so to user base grows and there are there is more demand, what happens is for with Firebase, all of that can be scaled up without you having to do anything. So it's all built in into the platform, into the system, which is really great. Now, like I said before, all of this, all of the backend, you can actually have it built you can build it yourself however it's really expensive and why would you want to do that if you can just get something it's already done with firebase you can also get other services as you can see the list goes on uh, besides the real-time database we also have audience engagement uh, you, we have for instance AdMob, which allows you to run ads show ads on your application which is form of getting a revenue from your applications. You can have invite to make it easier for people to share content of your applications, uh, cloud messaging, remote configuration, app indexing, I mean, so many other things that you get out of Firebase. I don't think I did it justice of things that you can do with Firebase. Um, but as we learn more about Firebase, and you can also do, of course, a little research online, just type in firebase.com and you can go and read more about Firebase. So if this is your first introduction of Firebase, then now you know. It's just a platform that allows you to create scalable applications using real-time database. That way you don't have to worry about anything about the back end. All you have to do is actually build your application. One of the most important things for us developer is that Firebase platforms can easily be integrated on iOS, Android, and the web. So you can see the power here because now you can design an infrastructure on top of Firebase and have that infrastructure serve iOS applications, Android, and web applications, all relying on one platform only. Very good. I hope this was a helpful introduction here. And of course, in the coming videos, we'll dissect further Firebase. See you next.